Unions already at work, including one that keeps young people insured. At the young age of 23, uh, Justine Eula is battling cancer for the second time. And the other day, her mom, uh, Joanne, emailed me from Cleveland University Hospital where Justine is undergoing treatment. She told me she stopped by the pharmacy to pick up Justine's medicine. If Justine were uninsured, it would have cost her $4,500. But she is insured because the Affordable Care Act has let her and three million other young people, like Monica, gain coverage by staying on their parents' plan until they're 26. And that means Justine's mom... That means Justine's mom had, uh, all she had to cover was the $25 copay. Justine Eula and her mom, Joanne Rizzo, join me now from the UH Steidman Cancer Center where Justine receives her treatments. Good morning to both of you. And Justine, how are you doing? I'm doing good. You look great, may Thank I say. You. What was it like for you to hear the president talking about you on national television? Um, once we found out and then the next day when I got to watch the um, speech live, I think I kind of toned everything out after he said my name and then I had to go back and kind of listen to the speech because, you know, it was just one of those things It's it's just crazy to see that the president was talking about you. What was it, Joanne, that made you write this letter to the White House? Well, we spent a lot of time in our room just watching TV, and there was a commercial that kept coming on, and it was um, very negative against Obamacare. And I looked over at Justine, and I said, you know, it, it's really helped our family. So we looked at each other, and we said, oh, we should write, we should write the president, not thinking it was going to be so easy <laughs> and uh, so we did she pulled up the website and we emailed him uh, it was at the time of the shutdown so I told her you know it's probably just gonna get lost in the shuffle and you know we'll just forget about it but at least we sent our thank you and what we thought about it and we just forgot about it this is as uh, the president said your daughter's second uh, bout with bone cancer she was first diagnosed when she was 16 years old and I'm sure you've had your hands full, but have you ever stopped to even think in your mind or calculate what the treatments have cost and what it could have meant if your daughter was not insured? I, I really have no idea what the total amount is. I'm sure I would just be in shock. Um, but I do understand how important it is having this care and her able to stay on my uh, husband's insurance. It's enabled us to make choices of where she gets her care and um, who gives her her care and it also eases our minds when we're worried and nervous about just her health we don't have to worry about oh my gosh are we going to lose our house yeah and justine obviously you have enough going on in your life without a, becoming a spokesman for obamacare uh, but what made you feel like this is something that you wanted to do once the president obviously uh, talked about you on tv um, I mean, I just hope that my story will help someone kind of look into the Obamacare and um, the Affordable Care Act a little bit more just to, you know, maybe benefit them or somebody that they know or somebody, you know, in their family that's struggling and needs this help because I know if I was, you know, 23 year old on my own health insurance and I got this huge bill in the mail, I wouldn't be paying it because there's no way that I could. So I wouldn't be getting the care that I needed. So I just hope that it will help someone, some like somewhere out there that can get the care that they need. And, and Joanne, as someone who, as you said, saw all these negative ads and, and you live in Ohio, a place where uh, political ads are kind of just part and parcel. I grew up in Ohio, so I know uh, it's one of those states where uh, you're, you're constantly bombarded with ads. What would you say to those people who are running those ads and spending a lot of money running those ads? Not to just look at the negative side. Uh, anything new isn't going to be perfect in the beginning. And maybe we could just work together to make it a little bit better instead of fighting each other of who 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 is you know coming up with the ideas instead of fighting back and forth can we all join together and just see what's best for the people well justine it's been inspirational to see you and i think everybody watching i i feel confident speaking for them that we wish you and your family all the best and, and joanne to you as well it's kind of you to take your time uh to talk to us today thanks so much thank, thank you, you.